Where's it, where's it go? There? Use the force, Luke. Today, I'm getting to tick a big one off my bucket list. I'm at Stanford University in Silicon Valley, and I'm facing down a drone that can really look after itself. Sure. This is research that will help drones to fly smarter and avoid obstacles, be they natural or madman made. In all honesty, I'm still more afraid of it than it is of me. <laughs> So the system knows where I am because I'm covered in reflective markers on my arm, my glove, my helmet, and most importantly on the foil. So you can see the nice little wireframe depiction of me on the screen there. It's sampling the entire world that, that it concerns itself with. And it tries to connect a path through this world that is free of obstacles. But then these obstacles might move, they might intersect with the path, it has to replan. And all this is very, very computationally expensive. This is the type of thing that, if you're not careful, could take days or months to compute, but we have to do it in a matter of a few milliseconds. Oh, that was a bit naughty of me. And how many times have you been hit by the drone? And how many times did you hit the drone? And how um, many drones have you been through? <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, more than I'd like. I think of it as almost like kind of training a semi-wild animal. You don't quite know what it's going to do, so it, it bites once in a while, but uh, it's, it's, it's been going better recently, so <laughs> we'll say 10 times. Okay, let's say 10. Sorry, this is so, I am so Luke Skywalker <laughs> right now. <laughs> My bad, probably. <laughs> 